Hi, my name is John and today I want to show you, I'm going to teach you how to open cans. I used to use this kind of tools to open cans in the kitchen. Is this a waste of time or what? Besides that, you use a lot of energy to open any size of can, right? So forget about this. Let's go to the new device that you can afford to live without anymore in the kitchen. I'm talking about this electric can open by goods and things. This new device you have to have in your kitchen and it is powered by four AA batteries. Okay? I'm going to show you how to operate this new tool right now. So this is brand new. Let's open it. Okay, this is great. Great tool. So let's see this. The red can opener is beautiful and is very easy to use. Anybody can do And you see this uh, cutter right here? It's bent. That's the way it's supposed to be. Don't think that when you open it, you box, don't think that this is uh, broken or defective. No, this is the way it's supposed to be. And let's see how I operate. This also is a device, is a magnetic. It's magnetic will be holding the can top after you open it. So the top will never fall into the food, which is great. It'll keep the food safe, okay? But uh, the red part is the top of the can, open it. And to operate, we're gonna insert four double A batteries. How we open this? Slide back like this a little bit, you see it? And pick it up with your fingernail very easy. Please don't use any tools to pop up the top because by doing that you can cause an accident, you can cut yourself. You don't need that. Just slide back a little bit and put up, pick it up with the, your fingernail. Okay, let's insert the batteries. Once again, use four uh, WA batteries, okay? So, Make sure the barrels are new as well, because if we use barrels that has been used before, it probably won't give enough power to the can open to operate. So here it is, four barrels as you can see. Put the top back on like this. You start from the back, slide back up. Great. This uh, white button right here, it starts and stops the device from working. Okay. As you can see now, when you start operating this little thing right here, close, get, get closer to the cutter. When you stop, it opens up. So how it works? You have to make sure that you insert the edge of the can right in between right in between this space right here. So let's see, put a little pressure, not much, just a little pressure, and push the button. Here you go. It takes less than 30 seconds to open a can like that, or a bigger size, doesn't matter. Make sure that the can opens are uh, run. It won't open anything with, uh, with corners. Okay, it will open kind of like that, but could be any size. So here it is. Look like it's done. Push the button again to stop it and pick it up. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't do the I didn't let it go the whole I didn't let it go the whole side, but we tried again. Anyway, I want to show you this. That was my fault. I didn't let it uh, go 360 uh, degrees, but you can you can touch your finger right here. It won't create any uh, cut edge. It's very smooth. You can 
finger over and that's it that's how you operate I'm going to try another one just to make sure you see the whole process uh, here it is I'm just going to do it again I'm sorry that was a little mistake but we fix it okay once again let's do it Okay, I think we're more, I think we're done. Let's look, let's see. Here you go. Look at this. Very safe, very good. So you can afford to live without the electric and open anymore in your kitchen, right? This is it. Get it.